Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and today we're doing a very classic champagne red lip holiday glam. I have a ton of new stuff to share with you guys that I know you're gonna love. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Before we start, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it at any point and don't forget to subscribe as well. I have a giveaway coming very, very soon. I don't want you guys to miss that, so subscribe, but let's get started. First off, I have a primer that I already put on just to let it sink in before my makeup. This is from Pure Cosmetics. It's the 4-in-1 Correcting Primer, Energize and Rescue. This is a silicone primer. Pure is one of those brands I've been looking into, not necessarily labeled clean, but their ingredients are pretty good so far from what I've seen. And this one is silicone free if you're looking for a silicone free primer. Next, let's just go ahead and dive into foundation. I'm going to try out the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. We'll be doing a video on Hourglass. I'll talk a little bit about their ingredients as well. So I wanted to try this out. I got the shade Porcelain, which seems like it's a pretty good match. And this is supposed to be full coverage, so perfect for a really glam holiday look. Only gonna start with a little bit of this and just see how far that goes. Obviously, I already have my brows on. I did a pretty glam brow for this look. They do sell a brush for this foundation, which is a really dense sort of kabuki brush. I didn't get it because it was pretty pricey, but I am just gonna use this Luxie 542 flat contour just because it's pretty dense. I feel like it'll do a pretty good job blending this out. Yeah, definitely super full coverage so far. Usually with stick foundations and kabuki brushes, they really accentuate and just drag over my texture. But surprisingly, this one is laying really smoothly. Like I'm really impressed it's not emphasizing any texture too bad. I was really expecting it to, especially with like a dense brush. If you have like pretty good skin to begin with, this would probably be enough. It is really full coverage. But since I do have a lot of redness and just scarring going on, I'm gonna go in with a second layer and see how it builds. It swipes on like really smoothly, by the way. It doesn't really drag on the skin. It looks really good so far, especially over my acne because there's some dry skin since they're healing. Obviously dry skin, you're still gonna be able to see it, but it's not like clinging to it, like some foundations really accentuate it. But I would say if you have super dry skin, definitely make sure you exfoliate and moisturize because I could see if you were to use a lot of it that it could sort of pile up in dry patches. So if you prep your skin well, I really think you'll be good though. Cause I have really textured skin. I know you can't tell on camera, but it's looking really smooth. I think the match is pretty spot on as well. I believe this is fair with neutral undertones. They do have a sh couple shades. I don't know if this is the second lightest, but they do have a shade that's like very light, which is great if you have super pale skin like me. I'm gonna spot conceal a little bit more with the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. I use the shade Arrowroot. I really love this for blemishes because it does not cling to them. It just makes them look like really fresh. It's literally the best spot concealer. I use it under my eyes sometimes as well. And with this, I literally let it sit on my skin for quite a while. I usually do like my brows or something else. Because once you let this set for a little bit, you'll get amazing, like, full coverage out of it if you let it set. If you blend it out now, you will get a little bit of a lighter coverage. I really like how it's versatile and it's just great concealer. While that's sort of setting down, I'm going to do my under eye concealer with the Cover FX Power Play in the shade N Light 1. I've been really loving this concealer. Just sits nicely under the eyes and doesn't crease. Just going to sort of dab some under there. I did order some more stuff from Cover FX to do a full face of Cover FX. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. But I'm going to take a Real Technique sponge to blend that out. Now I'm going in and blending out the Ilia concealer that I put down. It is raining. If you guys can hear that. Sorry if you don't like the sound of rain. I think it's pretty nice. I'm gonna do a little contouring today using the Physicians Formula Sculpting Bronzer. This is the shade Mocha. I do have a lighter shade. I'm not sure where it is, but I think this one will work. I'm just gonna be very light-handed with it. These are super creamy. I do like it as a bronzer slash contour. It does have coconut oil in it though, so if you guys break out from coconut oil, which I do, but sometimes I'll just use it and usually wash my face pretty soon after I film these, so, you know, not a big deal. 
I also got this new brush set. This is from ColourPop. It's only like 30 something dollars when they're having like their Cyber Monday deals. And I've always wanted to try ColourPop brushes because they are synthetic. So I'm testing these out. I will be doing like a holiday haul probably this week. So I'll talk about these. I also got another set of Luxie brushes. I have a bunch of new things I wanted to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, I just wanted to mention what brushes I'm using today. I'm using that same Luxie contouring brush that I use for foundation just to blend this in. Now that I look a little crazy, but it's roughly blended, I'm gonna go in with my sponge and it's just gonna help pick up that extra product and just blend it even better into the skin. To sharpen up the nose since the contour kind of got blended down the sides of the nose, which is what you don't want, because it's gonna make your nose look wider. So I'm going back in with the Cover FX Concealer on a flat shader brush. And I'm just gonna clean up the edges. And then patting that in with the clean side of my sponge. Now you can do that with your cheek as well, but I feel like that ended up looking pretty clean. So I think I'm good without it. Okay, so I'm back, I set my face. I'm gonna put on some of this Kosas Sport Lip Balm. Since my lips are feeling dry. Next for bronzer, this is another product I picked up for the Hourglass video and I've just been in love with it. It's their bronzer. This is the shade Nude Bronze Light. I swatched a couple of the other shades and some of them were really shimmery, but this one just seemed so perfect, especially if you have a fairer skin like me and really have a hard time finding a bronzer. It's not too pigmented or orange toned and it just has the perfect amount of shimmer, not too much. It just is gorgeous and it blends really smoothly so far definitely enjoying this from hourglass i'm just going to dot that on my face whenever i do blush and bronzer now i usually don't sweep because like i did mention before i have texture on my skin and i find it depends on the foundation but when i swipe it kind of picks up on the product even if i set it so just to be safe and for a smoother finish i just like to do it this way i feel like it just looks better in the end there's a little trick if you do have textured skin on your cheeks. Next up for blush, I have another new product here to try out. This is from Kosas. It's one of their powder blushes. I can open it. This is the shade Papaya 1972. I've never tried their powder blushes, so I'm really excited. I'm not sure this highlight's gonna work for me because it is almost a little too peachy. It might show up deeper on my skin tone. So I'm just gonna try out this blush for now. From what I can tell, these are definitely like a more powdery formula. Not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm just gonna start with the tiniest amount because they do seem pigmented. Yeah, they're definitely really pigmented. Going on smoothly. I like this shade as well. I'm always down for like a peachy blush. For a highlight today, I'm using the PYT Beauty Upgrade Highlighter in Backstage Pass. It's a really nice, more affordable highlight. They are, a pow they are a powder formula. They're not super duper pigmented, but they do have a good amount of pigment. So if you want that sort of like middle ground highlight, I think this would be gorgeous. And this is just a light champagne to sort of go with the eye look that we're doing today. Okay, that's it for the face. Now we're gonna go into the eyes. I zoomed you in so you could see a little bit better. I'm gonna start with the Lawless V1 palette. I mentioned this in my favorites. I've really been enjoying it. Great neutral tones. I'm going to start with this sort of neutral brown, lightest shade in the palette, lightest brown in the palette. And as always, I'm just gonna start this as a transition shade before I go down and lay some deeper colors. This look is gonna be super blended and soft. So I'm really gonna go light-handed and make sure everything is smooth. All right, so I'm really just building this shade up in my crease making sure everything's smooth i don't know what's good with my eyebrow right now we'll fix that after okay right, so next i'm going in with this sort of mid-tone brown there's a little bit of a warmth to it i'm going to take a smaller crease brush probably this one right here just get that a little tighter to my crease Going back in with the fluffier brush just to blend the two shades together. Before we finish that up really quickly, I'm just gonna take those two same shades that I've been using and run those under my lower top. What? My lower lash line. Okay, and then next I'm taking this, the most warm tone shade in this palette, and I'm going to do the same thing I did with that other shade, 
which is just set it right close to that crease line and then blend it in with the other shades. All right, once I'm happy with the depth of that, I am going to dip into this super deep brown. Did I point to the right one? Yeah, this brown right here. Again, using that same brush because I just really love the shape of this. And this is going to go really right in that socket. And on the outer V, I'm not going to bring it too far to the inner corner. You're just going to sort of keep it smoky on the outer edge. Before we go into the lid, I'm going to take this light, very light cream shade, a little bit of sheen to it, and I'm going to use this to highlight the brow bone. So far, I'm really loving these ColourPop brushes, especially the eye ones. I feel like there's a lot of shapes in here that I don't actually have, and they're really useful. I'm going to take a little bit of this right on the inner corner. We'll probably do a shimmery inner corner highlight just to brighten that up sort of set base for it. I'm going to start with the Bodyography. This is one of their glitter pigments in the shade Celestial. I've mentioned this before. I really love these. They're basically a pressed glitter pigment, so a lot less messy than a glitter or a loose pigment. You can really just use your fingers. They work great that way. And this is just a really gorgeous light champagne. Let me swatch it for you. It just has a little bit of like a bronzy tint to it, but it's just so gorgeous and it has some light shimmer through it. So I'm just gonna use my finger for this. I'm gonna start patting this on my lid. You can kind of see just wherever the dark eyeshadow isn't is essentially where I'm gonna put it. These are gorgeous and they make it so easy just to really like amp up your look. Like literally all you need is your finger to apply it and it just blends beautifully and creates a lot of impact with like a regular eye look. Why am I yellow again? Come on camera. Now that we have that laid down, I'm going to go in with the Rowan. This is their eyeshadow palette. This is the 52 degrees, like the cool toned version that they sell. So these are like a cream powder hybrid, really hard to explain but sort of like almost like a glitter topper. So I'm gonna take this like goldish shade and then pat that very lightly on the lid just to add like a little bit more of that glitz and glam. This is optional, but it just really, really seals the deal for me. And these are definitely, they definitely work best with your finger. I'm gonna take my pinky finger just because it's the smallest, just so I can get like a more precise application. I'm just gonna dab this over that glitter pigment these are really similar shades. This one just has a little bit more of like a chunky glitter. So I think they go really well together. Okay, so don't really worry if you get it in your crease because it really just like, it blends together easily. If you wanna clean that up, you can take a brush you're using for your crease. Or just go over that. I kind of like when it goes more into the inner corner of the eye. I feel like it brightens it up a lot. Um, these do crease a little bit because they're more of like a creamy formula, but they're not really oily. Um, I kind of like how it creases a little bit. It gives it a really cool effect, but if you don't like that, do beware those are not like a super long wearing crease proof eyeshadow. For the inner corner, I'm just gonna grab the highlight I used on my face and pop that in. Okay, now for eyeliner, you can really go any way you want with this look. It looks gorgeous without liner, or you could do a soft shadow wing using like a deep brown shade. You could do a very chic black liquid liner you could do a smoky black liner i feel like really this is just such a simple base eye look that you can do really anything you want you could even do like a colored liner today i think i'm going to do a smoky brown wing just to keep it really soft and then we are going to throw on a pair of lashes to just amp up the drama i'm going to grab the brown deep brown shade in the lawless palette i'm going to start building a wing with this Okay, so I popped on a really light sort of softer lash because again, this look is gonna be really nice and soft. How many times are we gonna say soft? A billion. Um, anyway, I used the Ardell. These are the 422 Naked Lashes. I'm pretty sure these are like new to Ardell. They're super pretty. They're sort of similar to the Wispies where they're just really light and more of like a tapered end. So they're not like super voluminous or just like, I don't know how to describe it, but they're really soft while still being glam. I think they're just perfect for this look. If you want to blend them even more, you take like a little bit of a black liner because I did use brown, so 
really got to be precise with the application but if you wanted like if you messed up you could just go in with black liner and blend them a little bit more as you can see like the shadows creasing a little bit but like i mentioned those rowan shadows do crease but not like a crazy amount i actually think it looks really pretty finish off the bottom lashes with mascara as well so since this look is so neutral and soft you could probably put any lip color you want with it you could go with a nude if you just want to keep the whole thing neutral and it's super wearable you could do a red lip you could do a deep berry literally anything you want but today since it is what did i just do but today since it is like a holiday glam i wanted to do a classic red lip i'm going to use the kosas phoenix lipstick and i might top it with one of the lip oils just to make it a little bit of like a glossy finish but yeah let's put that on and i will be back It's actually a really nice, looks like a neutral red to me. Maybe a little bit cooler toned. It's really pretty. I love the pigment and just opacity and creaminess of these, but they're not like too much of a sheen to them. It's sort of like a satin finish. Really comfortable on the lips. If you want something more long wearing, of course you could go in with like a liquid lipstick. It's definitely gonna last longer for you. Went ahead and topped it with this Kosas lip oil in the shade jaws which is a really gorgeous true red i'm like obsessed with this combo and the formula on this gloss i was a little skeptical i was a little skeptical of these because it's just like a lip gloss lip oil i was like how good can it really be people are raving about it but it is such a beautiful formula they smell amazing they go on super smooth they do have enough as a, enough of like a thickness that they stay on your lips but they're definitely not sticky feel really nourishing so far can't wait to try this some more i'm just loving this i'm gonna zoom you guys out and our look is done so yeah all right guys thank you so much for watching here's our finished holiday glam look hope you enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and of course i'll be doing a little bit more of a dramatic holiday glam coming soon so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any fun holiday content including a giveaway i have planned so thank you again for watching and i'll see you in my next video